Hello, I'm John from Into Boxing, and I'm here with the one and only Jack Fletcher, J Boxing TV. Jack Fletcher, what can I say about your career so far? Exploded onto the scene, one of the fastest going pages, um, nothing but good stuff. Explain to us where you come from and where you're going. Just love boxing, yeah, love boxing. I started boxing when I was uh, 33, had 10 fights on the unlicensed scene, uh, did pretty well in a short space of time, um, won the Midlands Cruiserweight title, retired, did a bit of commentating on the unlicensed scene off the back of that, it's just, it's snowballed over the past sort of six months, getting in front of like people like Anthony Crawler, Carl Froch, um, Nathan Gorman, yeah, like David Hay, there's too many to mention, it's just been an absolute whirlwind, but as a boxing fan it's been a very enjoyable one as well. So we're currently here at the Ultimate Boxer 6, where we're um, just about to see who's going to end up in the final. What's your rundown up to now and what you've seen? To be honest with you, I'm very impressed with Danny Whittaker. He was uh, an unlicensed fighter about 12 months ago. Two fights, two wins against Jonathan Pilate, 7-0, Frank Warren Promotions fighter. Tipped to be the favourite. He outboxed him, he outfoxed him, he outclassed him. It was a fantastic performance. And now he fight, faces Nick Webb. I think Danny Whittaker could go all the way and face Mark Bennett in the final. So, um... The, the first final, the first guy in the final is a friend of yours. What do you reckon to his performance? Because that last round was full of excitement, which he's been lacking, let's be honest. I think the, the thing with Mark Bennett, he's got a lot of heart. I mean, he even admits himself, his footwork isn't the best, but he's a good boxer, he's got a good jab on him, a good right hand, and he has got pure heart. And in this kind of tournament, these three rounds, heavy punches, big heart, keep going, through the pain barrier, and then that, that, that could sometimes get you over the line and get it a win for you. So just quickly then, who's going to win this based on what you've seen? It's a toss-up between Danny Whitaker and Mark Bennett. They're both people I know anyway, so I, I wouldn't want to say out the two, but I'd say either Mark Bennett or Danny Whitaker. Both good lads. I'm probably going to go with Mark Bennett for the win. I'm glad you said that because they were going to make you um, um, pick one. And I think, um, I'm not sure if Mark, Mark Bennett left a lot in that last fight. I think he, he needs to recover really fast, otherwise he's going to struggle in the final. The thing is, Danny Whittaker, after that fight, he boxed a really good fight, whereas with Mark Bennett, he's gone hell for leather in both his fights. So that Josh Sandlin fight, he'll be very fatigued. It's going to take him a lot to recover. The only thing I'm kind of cautious about a little bit now is Danny Whittaker played a smart fight against Jonathan Pilate. He's had more time to recover. If he beats Nick Webb, you know, Danny Whittaker's up there as well. He really is. OK, so um, trying to grow your page. So where do we find you? Jay at Boxing Media TV. I'm on Instagram as well, Jack Boxing TV. Um, all over social media. Give us a follow. Give us a share. Get involved. And um, what do the fans... What will the fans expect when they look at you and your page? Just real and raw boxing interviews. You know, because I've fought, fought myself in the past, I know what it's like to step in the ring. I know what it's like to get into those ropes. I know what it's like to lose a fight. I know what it's like to win a fight. I know what it's like to be knocked down and to get back up again. So I've experienced it. So from my point of view, that's what differentiates myself from, the, you know, the, the, the run-of-the-mill sort of uh, journalist. There you go. So thank you very much and look forward to seeing the end of the fight.